Good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, Reading the Red this Friday morning, dry, and, and actually quite nice out there this morning. I really enjoyed the full moon, beautiful, shining across the sky. Wonderful. Matthew chapter 16, uh, verse 9. And uh, today we're going to see Jesus getting somewhat frustrated uh, with the disciples and he comes at them at two levels and today's verse in verse 9 is the first level he says to them do you not yet understand or remember the five loaves of the five thousand and how many baskets you picked up that were full so do you not yet know do you not yet understand and that feeling of frustration that Jesus has got working within him because he's trying to impart to them something and they just don't seem to be able to get it. It's like something inside of them doesn't seem to reach out to the insight that he's longing to give you. Have you ever read something and you just don't understand what you just read and you read it again and you think, I still don't understand and you read it again and you read it and read it and you don't understand and then eventually Something clicks and you think, oh, that's what they're talking about. And then it all makes sense. And the disciples are in one of those kind of conundrums where he's trying to convey to them the reality of being aware of the yeast of the scribes and the Pharisees and the Sadducees. But they just can't seem to get it because they're focusing on this bread, this bread. And Jesus said, look, you want to talk about bread? Uh, don't you remember the five the 5,000 people and how many baskets full did you pick up? And he said, I don't need to worry about bread. He said, look, can't you seem to get it? Don't you yet understand? And that sense of understanding is when we internally acknowledge something in our spirits that's kind of being said or being seen uh, through our eyes. It's like a light goes on and we understand something that we didn't understand before. And true revelation understanding is essential as it relates to being, as it were, a student of Jesus Christ, a disciple of Jesus Christ. We need to understand what he says, not understand with our own filtered perspectives. So often Jesus would present something to us and we'll kind of understand it at a level in terms of its intellectual content. But we've filtered it through all the limitations. All the, it's almost like sending water uh, through the rocks to purify it. We're kind of taking it through our own sense of purification. And we end up getting a kind of a substance or water uh, or truth or an insight that is true, but it's true according to us. And what God is wanting is not truth according to us, but truth according to what he has said. And so this sense of how God perceives something rather than what we think it is. I was thinking this morning on my walk, when um, common sense challenges, as it were, uh, what we might call the, the legal regulations, I would say that the legal, the legal regulations are foolish. Common sense is really coming to a, a place of understanding that that's the right thing to do. And sometimes we find ourselves in life where we can't do things because the law and the rules and the regulations don't allow us to. And that's a, that's a foolishness that humanity has entered into. And it's like we have tried to build our own sense of what is right. But we need to get back to what God says is right and wrong in life. Have a great weekend. Bless you. And I'll see you on Monday.